Well, good morning, friends. This is our upper room uh, devotional for Wednesday, May the 19th. <clears throat> and the title of the devotion is Treasured Words. Our uh, regular scripture reading today is one as uh, excuse me is Psalms 119 129 through 136 and the focal passage is found also in the same chapter uh, and that's verse 130 the unfolding of your words gives light it gives understanding to the simple so this morning we have sent in uh, to us from the great state of Alabama, our home state, Cindy Peavy, Cindy Tanquery Peavy. And uh, Cindy writes to us. Granddad was a quiet man, but in the evenings when he settled on the sofa, poetry flowed from him. I love to lean against his chest, my cheek on his worn flannel shirt and listen to the rumble and rhythm of the words as he spoke. He often recited Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's poem about the village blacksmith under the spreading chestnut tree. Knowing just when to pause or raise his voice, he transported me to another time and place. I was spellbound. Grad, excuse me, granddad taught me that we learn from words when we treasure them. The verse from Psalms 119 invites us to do the same with the words of God. As the source of all knowledge, God has much to teach us through the Bible. But the psalmist tells us that we'll miss the lesson if we skim over the words. Rather, they're meant to be unfolded. Layer by layer, word by word, we open the divine gift. We read God's word until they're stamped in our memory and the light of understanding enters our hearts. Then those words can teach us wisdom, direct our steps, wrap us in comfort and give us peace, show us mercy and love and bring us closer to God. And today, the thought for the day is this, today and every day, I will treasure God's word and the prayer for this morning. Thank you, God, for your word. Help us to unfold it like a treasured gift so that it fills our lives and our hearts. Amen.